Greetings all you fellow metalheads. This time on Road Channel we go directly to United Kingdom, which is a great place for good pints of beer, not so much black metal. However, this time I'm proudly presenting you a band called All One, or is it Alone? That's a peculiar question which I cannot yet answer, but let's review this fine CD. So this one was uh, released, uh, I'm sorry, made, uh, recorded uh, around 2017-2018, came out like a hot summer day here in Finland, pretty much unexpected, but here we have it, the debut album which is also called alone or all one i'm not still sure as you can see uh, four tracks which are all very very lengthy always a warning sign if you ask me um brought to you by aesthetic death this one is an interesting case um, so um it's called avant card black metal if you look on metal archives i wouldn't go as, as far as that but I would definitely call this one more or less kind of a experimental or post-black. And why so? Well, let's get to that in a bit. Now, the foundation of this two-man band is kind of an atmospheric black metal. It's kind of very beautiful, it's melodic, and curious enough, a lot of um, acoustic guitars have been used on this particular album. And that is good news, obviously, for people like me, like-minded also, who were into these acoustic guitar parts already with the 1990s black metal and otherwise. Think of like early dissection material. You might remember when acoustic guitars were just brought in and they would fit in nicely. Back then it wasn't always about being as extreme as possible. You might have some nice keyboards, not some, some acoustic guitars, even some clean singing, and then it would still be kind of an extreme metal, black metal or otherwise. Now this is a habit that so often is nowadays lost. Nowadays we don't have that many bands who are capable, willing or other things to do with acoustic guitars, but I find them refreshing when they're nicely done and that my friends all one can do pretty nicely they are not just to spice things up they're not just to season the all-around thing here but more as a main ingredient to create this kind of unique thing what all one is all about now the problem lies so often with kind of our lengthy tracks because most bands are not able to keep up the interest when tracks are very lengthy. That is, so often these kind of structures of songs start falling apart because our brain brains are kind of hardwired in, into kind of understanding certain patterns that appear again and again. That's how songs usually are. You have certain riffs which are then repeated a few times and you have chorus parts and all that stuff. I know this is getting into the theory of music, but what I'm trying to say here is that many bands, rock, metal, otherwise, usually understand that. But when bands are more experimental, progressive, avant-cardish, or just breaking out those fences and boundaries just because they can, or because they understand the basic music theory and how it works with our heads, then things sometimes go overboard and are not that interesting albums. However, there are bands that are able to keep these uh, lengthy tracks just interesting and All One is, fortunately, one of those. Now, obviously, they still have uh, some problems having these songs to be catchy. Now, not all people mind about being catchy, but we all do what it means when you have catchy riffs. Think of Iron Maiden, think of bands like early Metallica or any other big names. They work like that because they have this catchiness they have these patterns that work like charm and all that stuff. And all one is doing that just fine. Also, uh, the production is quite well done. So I can say this is pretty much a nice album. However, there are some 
problems with it, so I wouldn't call it all the way down, polished and finished. Still, definitely worth trying. This is a nice album with some nice tunes, nice use of acoustic guitars and even clean vocals. So there you have it. Give it a chance. All one has totally deserved it.